room. And we're not talking about this section over here. I'm sure you wonder why I'm wearing my belt backwards. I'm wearing it like this so all you people know whose ass you need to kiss at the end of the night. Regularly scheduled Belay's rant tonight. But as you can see, I'm out here. And the reason I'm out here is because I have a man that has really, really deep pockets. And that's the manager of champions, JP Nasty. You see, we have a common enemy, and that's Blaze. And his wife. Take a gaze. Look at the shirt. Reliving it, baby.
I'm not playing with generic music for the man I represent. The man I represent is. The man I represent is the CEO of Hayberry. He is Hades and Body. He is the one. We are the Start Marshall!
You know what?
edition of Blaze's Corner. Right here with General Manager Blaze discussing any and all things NWA Southeastern. Making a huge entrance here into NWA Southeastern is the one and only Big O. Big O, winner of the Malenko Cup earlier last year down at the NWA Florida, our sister territory out of Tampa, has made a huge splash here in Cabo, and the fans are responding to it. Big O on a huge hot streak, and I think moving up the rankings pretty quick. Tony Storm, I think you better watch the tail, son, because Big O is on fire and he is chasing the storm.
Spotlight Series here, hosted by me, General Manager Blades. And I have with me today the one and only NWA Southeastern Heavyweight Champion, Tony Storm. Tony, welcome to the Character Spotlight. Thank you for having me, Blades. I appreciate it. All right. What we're trying to do here is to get out our NWA Southeastern superstars to the rest of the independent wrestling world and kind of broaden our audience a little bit. Now, before we get going today, I've got to ask you a question. I keep hearing this term, storm chasers, getting thrown around, and so before we get too far into this, could you explain to me what, what is going on with the storm chaser uh, legend right now? The, the storm chasers are a, a large group of Tony Storm fans that originated in Iowa, and that's where Tony Storm was born, that's where Tony Storm evolved, but it wasn't until... I got to Florida when I was really able to expand my knowledge and my horizons and of course expand my territory and the storm chasers. I got now are you originally from Iowa? No, not originally. Originally I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. So you kinda left and then came back? Yes. See, that that's because the NWA Southeastern Universe was so strong he just couldn't resist coming back, right? I've I've been a part of the NWA Southeastern since and prior, and I'm very proud to be the NWA Southeastern Heavyweight Champion. And this is where the home and majority of my storm chasers are and will, for, and will forever remain. As long as I'm the general manager, that's the plan, right? You got it. So, let me ask you, what sports did you play as a kid? Because I know you were a college athlete, correct? That's correct. Uh, throughout middle school, I played volleyball, basketball, track and field. I did... Any and everything I could to stay active, whether it was throughout the school or throughout the rec leagues. Um, got into high school, I played a lot of football, and that's where I got my college scholarship. I was able to become a college athlete, and I played offensive line for two years uh, in the NAIA. Fantastic. Now, now, let me ask you. As a kid, I know you were an avid wrestling fan. What, what's the very first match you can remember seeing as a kid? You know, I get asked this question a lot. What was the very first match you I remember seeing? I've watched so much wrestling. I couldn't tell you the very first match that I remember, but I can tell you the very first. All right, we're live here, so you've got to work with me a little bit. Okay. I can tell you the very first uh, story that made me fall in love with wrestling. All right, let's hear Number one, um, it was when Hulk Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage, who at my time, my very beginning of wrestling, I the Mega Powers. Powers. The Mega Powers. I was a huge Macho Man Randy Savage fan. I still am to this day. Oh, to, now, the same kid, kid that wasn't a Hulk Hogan fan, but was the Macho Man fan. Now, now that's a little, a little different. If you pay attention to the evolution of Tony Storm, you can see it. The wild colors, the long, crazy hair. That's where it all comes from. It all stems from the Macho Man, the charisma, the in-ring ability, just everything about him that stood out is what made him fall in love with professional wrestling. And here it was, thinking that he was emulating Blaze this whole time. <laughs> now I find out differently. So the Macho Man, well, I'll, I'll tell you, that you're going to idolize somebody, you might as well, you know, make it, make it somebody like the Macho Man. I, I mean, who's, I, I can't tell you how many people and how many wrestlers have, have almost emulated their entire careers. Off of him, but when you go back over the evolution of Tony Storm, now we've been working together for a while. Yes. So when I first met you, your, your look was a little different, your in ring style was a little different. You're constantly evolving, and that's one of the things that I just I, I can't uh, I, I can't say uh, enough about is that I never know what's coming next for Tony Storm. So. So that being, that being the topic now, let me ask you, who's, other than the Macho Man, who's been your most influential person since you got into the business? That's, that's a two-part question. Because I look, I look at the small scales, and then I look at much larger scales. In my personal life, every single day, my most influential... I got a feeling I know where you're going with this one. The most influential person for me right now has been will continue to Steve Kern. He takes time out of his day almost every single day to come talk to me, ask me questions, critique any and everything I do, whether it's my gear, my matches, my 
promos, any and everything that I do, he's been a very influential part of me continuing to grow and evolve throughout my wrestling career. And then, of course, that term that we continue to use, evolution, on a much larger scale, uh, my biggest influence would have to be Triple H. I, I don't think that there's a professional wrestler that dates back or that will ever come again that's been able to change and constantly evolve with the business as much as he has. So when you compliment me and say that I've changed and evolved throughout the time that we've known each other, I take that as the highest honor and compliment because I can almost parallel myself to him. Well, I'll have to agree with you. I mean, Triple H's evolution, I mean, ever since the early 90s, you know, when he started out with WCW, coming out with the Hunter Hearst Helmsley gimmick, and then, you know, all the way on. I mean, even to now with the new haircut and the, the whole, you know, uh, corporate uh, thing that they're doing, you know, I mean, it's, it's one of those things that is very, very rare for a wrestler to pull off successfully, but when you do it, it sure gets noticed. Now, you're still early in your career, and uh, you know one of the things that I've, I've said a lot is that, uh, and I know I've told you this before, is that I see a lot of a younger blaze in Tony Storm these days. So uh, it's, it's almost a, a compliment to me being able to be part of this journey with you. Uh, at some point, I know we work together all over the place, and uh, you know, coming home here now and having this NWA Southeastern title around your waist. I mean, it's been a it's been kind of a journey for the both of us. Yeah. At, at the same time. So uh, I just got I got one last question to ask you here. When did this feel real for the first time? Honestly, this was real, and this is gonna sound really awkward, but this wasn't real until my best friend tried to take it away from me. Uh, I knew what it meant to earn it, but now what I have to do to keep it is what makes it so much more real. Anybody can earn something once, but to continue to hold on to it and maintain it and keep it is what makes me the champion that I am. Well, Tony Storm, thank you so much for coming here on the Character Spotlight Series here at NWA Southeastern. Thank you for having me.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to say, but due to medical considerations, I'm sorry, Vince, I can't let your brother wrestle, man. His head is busted open, he's bleeding all over the place. You know what? I don't even care. I can cut a long winded promo talking about how I came all the way from Tampa, but I'm just gonna get in there and kick their ass. Whoa.